Hi, this is Wayne Schwartz from Fort Hayes State University. I'm a teacher at Guam High School uh, here on the island of Guam. And my video and presentation is called Culture Diversity at Guam High School. And um, uh, for my AEP 880 Culture Diversity class. And uh, what I'm going to talk about is Guam High School, uh, which is a Dodea school that I work for. Uh, Dodea school meaning it's a Department of Defense Education Activity School. And we primarily serve military families, affiliated families, uh, and their dependents, which includes, of course, the branches of the military. You got the Navy and the Air Force, um, Marines and Army. And we also serve the Coast Guard and any at Naval Hospital as well. And we're located in a Hagatya, Guam. Uh, and you can see on Guam here, if I show you right here, we do have four Dodea schools on Guam, but I work at Guam High School, which is located uh, over here in Hagatnya, which is right here, uh, toward the middle part or the central part of the island. And so uh, we are part of what we call the Pacific West District, uh, the district location. So you can see just by the map as far as the potentials for uh, cultural diversity and we have a lot because, especially with military families that move around, and we also have people from the locality of wherever they're at uh, also involved with the school, whether it is um, local hires that work with our faculty or the student population as well. So Guam High School uh, that I work for uh, is, it, like I said, a Dodea affiliated school. Uh, we're guided by the vision, our vision statement. You can see right here, and I just want to emphasize here, that Guam High School uh, is vision uh, is promoting diverse programs. So right here you can see that Guam High School is guided by a vision supporting continuous learning and mission, emphasizing quality educational programs for a diverse student body. So we have a lot of diversity and it's not just race, but that's what I'm going to be focusing on primarily. But we have quite a bit of diversity uh, in orientation, student body orientation, faculty orientation. Uh, and so, but I'm going to focus on uh, race. Okay, Guam High School, this is the front part of the building. And again, in our district, we're located in the island of Guam in the central location here. And because we're military, we have uh, Guam in itself is a local cultural melting plot. And uh, we have a lot of different kinds of uh, racial diversity and ethnicity here on Guam. It's a plethora of ethnicities here. We're going to talk about that here in a second. As you can see here, uh, this is where we're at, and Guam is part of the Micronesian Island Group here. And so we even get students from uh, some of the outlying islands in Micronesia. It's part of our cultural diversity and race. Uh, but we get a lot of also students uh, not only from our Micronesian islands, and Guam in particular has its indigenous group. And we also get a lot from here in the Philippines, just west of us. So uh, highly diverse, highly diverse. Um, cultural diversity at Guam High, you can see that uh, we're racially, uh, each at Guam High is a racially diverse student faculty population because of the military change of location station and its unique location. We're a hub of Asia. Guam High is a plethora, a plethora of ethnicities, including Filipino, Japanese, Korean, and Chinese. Uh, we have all those in our faculty and in our student population uh, ethnicities. Um, Chamorro, which is the local uh, Pacific Island indigenous uh, group. Micronesian, which are the other islands as part of the Micronesian island chain. We also have African-American and Caucasian students, but I'm going to focus primarily on the Filipino population. So you can see here we've got a culturally diverse uh, background. You can see that the Filipinos are uh, very high on Guam, 24.5%. Thus, that's why we have such a high population. Also, military and local uh, students uh, are a high. Uh, we have a high concentration of Filipino students, including my own children, which are half Filipino and half Caucasian. Uh, Filipino presence at Guam High is very prominent. We have faculty and workers, students. There are many opportunities to exhibit the culture through clubs and language. Tagalog is the Filipino language. Traditions, clothing, food, and holidays such as Filipino independence. So they have a lot of cultural opportunities at Guam High. It's very prominent. It's for cultural diversity. Guam High is a diverse racial melting pot that allows equity and opportunity to thrive in an educational setting. That includes the faculty. Thank you uh, so much. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much.